Now, recently, we've done a lot of car collection capers, and I've been up and down the country collecting 38 Chevys and engines for 38 Chevys and Mercury Marquises and everything. But today, a special one, not so much a car collection caper, more of a car delivery caper or a special delivery. Have a look at what's just turned up here. Absolutely fantastic. Now, this is a Mark 9 Jaguar. Now, these were originally built from 1959 until 1961. The early models of these, so that'll be the ones made in 1959, the early models were identical on the exterior to the Mark 7, the only difference being a chrome-plated badge that said Mark 9 or Mark 1X. But this is absolutely brilliant. It's a new toy being delivered. It's a lovely-looking car, in lovely condition. does need a little bit of work. Lovely condition inside as well, real leather seats of course, four doors with the wheel spats. And I don't know if you're watching over there in the USA, they're known as fender skirts, but over here in the UK for some reason, they're always called wheel spats. Now there is some provenance with this car, if anybody's watching and you think you recognise it, it was actually, or it did actually appear in the TV series Heartbeat. So it has been in there and has also appeared in a Jaguar magazine. So anybody watching that thinks they may recognise it, more than likely you do. Now this one was fully refurbished back in 1997. But it has stood for a while. Mark, the new one, is just going to start it up. See if we can get it reversed off the ramp without uh, any incidents occurring. Because the, the brakes are a little bit suspect at the minute. Mark's just trying to get it to go into gear, obviously into reverse gear, so it can reverse it slowly off the trailer. But it looks as though there's a bit of an issue with getting it to engage gear. It is an automatic, and with it standing around so long, it, uh, it's probably a little bit low on fluid or there may be a problem with the torque converter but it doesn't look like it's going to go into gear unfortunately. And with the brakes being a little suspect as well, uh, either not working very well at all or stuck on possibly the length of time, it's, uh, it's been standing around for a while. Certainly no way you're going to push that off that trailer. So the plan now is when we reverse it into the unit on the trailer and then we're going to tie the jag to another jag, would you believe, and uh, pull the trailer away from under the jag, where hopefully, if it does free the brakes off and it starts to roll off the trailer, there'll be enough power in the brakes to actually stop it rolling too far back. Uh, we'll have got a couple of sets of tyres and some mattresses behind it, so if it does roll, it can't roll too far, and if it does, hopefully, it won't cause any damage.
right, it's okay. Oh, that was a bit of luck. God, that was so close. But look at this, it looks as though it's just bumped into the mattress with the bumper and the overrider. And on the other side, it's actually uh, rolled into the tyres. But everything seems okay, thankfully. Well, that was a success. At least it's off the trailer and in the unit. And it can now be worked on to get it brought out on the road. So it can be enjoyed. Noise says you, you can watch the uh, tailpipes when you're parking it, reversing. He says, that's the only thing I want. Yeah, it's, <laughs> not, it's not quite how far they stick out, isn't it? But they're all the same. It says to it says. Look at this dashboard. Isn't that fantastic? Even the courtesy light underneath the dash there has come on when we opened the door. Dash mounted rear view mirror. Oh, it smells absolutely wonderful in here. Sunroof. Leather seats, but no wear on them. There's a stay somewhere. I think what the fuck was that? Oh, that's yeah. it. There's a the stay. I thought that was a strength. Uh, you know, like when you get the strength in us. Two six volts. Mm. I've just bought myself a really big battery pack. <laughs> And that's another new project successfully honed with very little damage, if any at all, to the car. Now we're just going to see it on the road. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye for now.